Hi, I'm Jilly Bean Fitzhenry, and I am going to show you how to do a little project, and it is painting on glass. And this little Santa hat is so much easier when you use the Dynasty Glass Art brushes. The soft bristles in the brushes make all the difference for getting a nice solid coat on the glass. When you're painting on a slippery surface, you don't want the brush to snap back. So you want the super soft so it follows the curvature of the glass itself. And these are perfect for that. Plus, the extra short handle allows you to do close-up work without poking yourself in the eye. So it's a much easier brush to use. When I start with the glass, what I do is I take a glass and I would make sure that it is nice and clean. You can either use rubbing alcohol or you can take it to your sink and wash it with regular soap and water. Um, you're going to take a design and cut it out. Now this one I have also cut little slits between some of the elements of the design because when I put it into the glass, I want it to fit the curvature of the glass. Then to secure it, I just take plastic bags, stuff in behind it, and it's gonna hold it right up against the glass for you. Because of the curvature of the glass, it's very difficult to see where I'm painting under camera. So to make it easier for you to follow me, I'm painting on a clear sheet protector that feels just as slippery as glass so you get the same reaction. So here we go, let's get started. I'm gonna start with the hat itself. I can rinse my brush in water, blot it all off on the paper towel, okay? I'm gonna really load this brush up with lots of paint, really plumping it up in the middle of the bristles. Okay, then, I want to flatten it because I want to use the brush flat. That's another benefit of this type of hair is you can take a round brush and turn it into a flat. Okay, then I'll scoop up just a little bit extra on the tip. When I go to paint in my hat, I want to pull the entire length of the hat. So I'm going to do the entire length of the tail and I'll probably have to do two coats on here, but I do all the elements and then I'll come back and do a second coat. Pull all the way from the top to the bottom so that if you do get any kind of brush marks, at least they're gonna follow through in the direction of the design itself. Top to bottom, I reload often. I pick up lots of paint, keeping that brush nice and flat. Pulling that all the way, okay? Now, if I were to make a mistake, I can just wipe it off and try again. This is a glass paint that will need to be baked on, and so until I bake it, it's still not permanent on here. So there we go, I've got all of my red in there. Then I'll rinse my brush in water, and I'm going to fill in the bell next, blot it on the towel. I try not to water down the paint because I want it to bond with the glass. And if you put too much water in your glass paint, it'll cut the binder. Really plump that brush up. Pick up a little bit extra on the tip. And just flatten that brush out. Pull from one end to the other. Use lots of paint fill in that design. I mean, it's so fun to paint on glass because, see, now if I, I mess out of the area, I can just take, clean my brush, use the wet brush, and wipe that off, or I could come back with a paper towel that's a little bit damp and wipe it off. So it's very forgiving. So it's nice that you can fix mistakes. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my little toothbrush and I'm gonna start with some metallic silver first. So I'm gonna load this. And this time I don't want as much paint as I did for the other because I wanna see those little individual hairs or tips on the brush. I'm gonna get up just kind of on one corner for this and pull out little strokes filling in that fur area, this will be underneath. I'll come back and add white on here next, but I'll let it dry a little in between. 
just pulling short little brush marks all the way across the fur. No water, just straight from the bottle. There's lots of different glass art paints that are out there and the brush is what makes the difference no matter which one you use. Okay, so I've got that filled in, rinse the brush. The next thing I'll do is the lettering. And I like to just make them all different colors. So you pick your favorite colors to do the letters. Now for this, I'm gonna use a script brush. And I've got, or a little liner, and I'm gonna fill that with lots of paint. Really plump it up, okay? And then I'm gonna scoop up a little bead on the tip of the brush so that I've got lots of paint on there. And pull that, just fill in the letters. Reload often, so keep going back, picking up paint. Lots of paint. Now this I should be able to do in just one coat because I've got lots of paint on there. It's a small area. Very light touch. Just let it kind of flow off the brush. And then I'll do orange next. Lots of paint, pick up extra on the tip, fill that in. Okay. And you really can get a design done in little or no time when you're painting on glass. And I like that it's just, all you gotta do is put a pattern inside and paint right on top of it. There's no tracing or transferring of your design. I'll even sometimes take a photograph and put in and paint on top of the photograph. I'll take a picture of flowers in my garden and then just put that picture, print it out, put it inside. And I'll do some red on the bottom. Just fill that in. And I can always clean up edges if I need to. The next thing I'm gonna do is use the little wave angle that is part of the glass art collection. And for this, I'm gonna use this to do the snowflakes. Now when I load this, I'm gonna pat it into the white paint. I wanna kind of flatten it on the palette as I load it, maybe just a little bit more on the tips. And that's how I'm gonna make my snowflakes. I just barely set it down and it makes a really unique individual little line and nice and lacy for snowflakes. I'm not pulling. I reload often. I try not to put too much pressure down, but just set it down on top of the lines and don't worry about sticking into the exact same pattern. Just press and lift and you get a nice lacy little snowflake. It's a really cool, quick, easy way to do snowflakes. Love this little brush. Makes it very fast. So I'll do all the little snowflakes and a couple more here, just lots of paint. I reload often, get it on the tip of the brush, set it and lift. You don't need to pull it, just press and lift. And each snowflake is gonna be unique, but they are anyway. Neat, neat little brush. And two more. There we go. Okay, now my hat should be ready to go ahead and put a second coat on it, so I'm gonna do that. I'll just quickly get one more coat of red so using my round brush, I'm plumping it up with lots of paint, flattening it out, and then scoop up a little extra. And I'm going to go ahead and just pull right on top of what I already had. And this will make it a little more solid. I get a nice solid coverage this way. Flattening the brush, using this soft brush makes a huge difference. It's got to have the soft bristles in order for it to work on glass. There we go. And I'll put one more coat on the bell with the yellow. 
flump that up there again. Nice continuous stroke from one end to the other. Okay, my uh, fur, I go back to my little toothbrush and I'm going to load it with white this time. There again, I want to be able to see the little tips and this time I go right on top of where I had the silver and I can pull either direction. So play with it a little bit. Is it easier for you to pull from the inside out or the outside in? Just get little lines. I want to um, make sure that I get some that come up on top of the red and some that come out below the bottom edge of the hat, but just short little strokes, a little fuzzy. Filling it in. I still want to see little bits of silver showing through here and there. That's what gives it a little bit more of a shadow. And I'm holding the brush a little bit at an angle so that I can get that more pointy kind of tip as I pull out. All the way to the back. Okay, I'll do one more little right here. Okay. Rinse my brush. Then basically all that's left are dots. So, um, and a couple of little lines. On the bell, I'm going to use the wooden end of the brush, dip that into the paint, and I use two black dots. Then I'm going to flip the brush over, use the liner, and I will make an X coming from the dots on each side. And I also want to add a little line coming down the edge of the hat so that it accents the tail of the hat a little bit better. Rinse that. And then I'm going to add some white dots in the hat. There again, just use the wooden end of the brush. Let's get the black cleaned off, though. Wooden end of the brush. And as you set it down, you get smaller dots. So just skip around a little bit here and there. And if you didn't get a perfect smooth hat, this is going to camouflage it. The more little detail you add, the more it camouflages any little imperfections, which is nice. Okay, and then I've also added some dots around the outside. There again, just the wooden end of the brush and tipping that in there. Now this particular paint that I've used, you're going to want to bake this in the oven. So here's the finished glass and I put it in a cold oven, 325 for 40 minutes, shut the oven off and let it stay in there until it's cold. Just follow the directions on any of the brands that you happen to use for the glass painting. They all might be slightly different. I do recommend that you hand wash because we all have different dishwashers and water and detergents. But give it a try. It is so fun and so easy. I know you'll love it.